Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to be harvesting the Vermibag Lil Mammoth for the first time. So I thought I would start out, I'm not really sure how I'm going to photograph this, but I thought I would start out by showing you the harvest panel. You can tell it's nice and tight in there. And uh, one of the uh, regular mortar trays. I don't know, I think I got it at Menards. It's got the measuring tape or like ruler on the side of it. It fits perfectly within the directions for the Vermi bag. So here we go. I'm going to harvest this side. So hopefully, I have not done any harvesting before. So. Okay. No, I have a Starbucks bag here at the bottom that might not have been compostable enough to uh, to really. Um, hmm. I might have to get something to poke that. Alrighty then. Let me see. I'm gonna put the tripod down here. All right, well, since I used a Starbucks bag, I honestly thought that would tear up a little better. Um, I think the first harvest of these is always questionable. Like, you know, there's always your, your starting stuff at the bottom. And that's definitely what I'm seeing right now is a lot of paper. Um, so this just might be a situation where I'm glad that I did not put any bedding in today because this is all the way at the bottom this is exactly what I started with it doesn't uh, look like it's been worked on at all and it is kind of super hard In case you're wondering, oh my gosh, what's she done with the, the baking implement? This is actually for my bonsais. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't steal something from the kitchen. I totally would. But, uh, alright, so, <clears throat> looks like the stuff that I'm getting out right now is going to go right back in the top. Which is not ex unexpected. I think when I did my first um, harvest of the urban worm bag back in the day, I think I had the same experience. Alright. Try and get all of the paper and stuff so we don't see this again. Alright, I'm going to zip this side back up. Slide, slide this over. I'll pick you up for a second so you can see um, what I'm finding in here is, is not, it's not finished. It just will go back on the top. So I'm going to bring you in, show you this part. Dig at that again. Okay. Starbucks bag might have been overkill for the the bottom, but it was what I had available at the moment. Yeah, the bag above is so heavy, it's kind of hard for me to get my hands in there and dig out this original paper and bags and stuff. I think I'm about up here right now. The next time, I think, is going to be great. All right. 
point. I think I'm going to stop before I break the whole thing loose. Ooh. Let's see where that other zipper goes. All right. Let me, uh, reset this. This is way easier to reset than the Urban Worm Bag. I could have never done that with the Urban Worm Bag. It was way too, I think, compacted. Um, but let me pull that out and we can see what we've got and then we can put it back in on the top. That was not part of the plan. All right, so this is what we've got for the harvest. There are some things that have been done nicely, but definitely not, I mean, not worthy even of trying to sift it. I'm just going to toss this right back in on the top. All right, I'm just going to hang you on the edge here. Um, yeah, I also make my own wine. Oh, all right. So yeah, that didn't contain any worms or anything. Um, ouch. More bonsai clippings. Get in there. But yeah. So there you have it. The uh, first harvest of the Vermi Bag Lil Mammoth. Alright guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.